Hello fighters, my name is Chance, welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for taking a look at the 11th and, at least currently, final episode of our fighting style series. Today we're going to be going over the last fighting style added in with the Tasha's Cauldron of Everything book. We're going to be going over unarmed fighting. I actually really like this one, I think it's neat. Um, that being said, before we dive into it, if you'd like to see this playlist in its entirety, please click on that little eye icon up at the top corner of the screen there, or wait until the end of the video and click on the playlist at the end card. In any case, let's dive right into the description of Unarmed Fighting. Your unarmed strikes can deal bludgeoning damage equal to 1d6 plus your strength modifier on a hit. If you aren't wielding any weapons or a shield when you make the attack roll, the d6 becomes a d8. At the start of each turn, you can deal 1d4 bludgeoning damage to one creature grappled by you. This is really nice stuff. I honestly, I, I, I think it's cool. I think it's about time something like this came out. That being said, however, this does steal from the monk's thunder a little bit. So, that's unfortunate. However, this is probably best used by the monk as well, skipping straight to that d8. Aw oh, man, this is going to be interesting for builds, I tell ya. Ah, I feel like the variant human monk is now going to be ludicrously popular. But whatever, in addition to that insane amount of damage output, um, at the start of each turn you can also deal bludgeoning damage to anyone who's grappling you, which is really nice. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. Might make him drop you. Maybe that's where you want to be. Who knows, but I do think that's pretty cool. Now let's get to my personal thoughts on it. Once again, I'm quite a fan of this, and in low magic or low item settings, this is certainly going to help you out quite a bit. Once again, I feel like at early levels, the monk makes the most sense to grab this, assuming they can get the fighting initiate feat at levels at level 1, and you can do that by just going variant human, going with the feat. Um, a lot of min-maxers might not do that, however, that spike in damage is quite substantial, and as soon as it comes time to get your ASI, you can just switch out this combat maneuver with another one that might suit you better. Overall, it is of course, rather interesting. And I get the feeling that unarmed fighting in particular is going to be pretty deep in a lot of people's metas. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about with regards to the monks, um, basically your unarmed strikes with the monk get progressively stronger as you level up. So initially they start out as a d4 and then at level 5 they go up to a d6 and at level 11 they go up to a d8. This feat, or this fighting style in combination with the fighting initiate feat, will essentially let you skip to either a d6 or a d8, um, depending on whether or not you have a shield, but most monks aren't, so that d8 is likely going to be what you're dealing with. So it essentially makes you as strong as you would be at level 11, which I would consider worth taking the feat investment. At least in terms of your unarmed strike. The monk gets a ton of other stuff as they level up, of course, but their unarmed strike will be as strong as a level 11 monk. So I get the feeling that we're going to see a lot of that in the near future here. I might even play as that, just to stress out a dungeon master. But In any case, let me know what you think of unarmed fighting down beneath in the comment section. Be sure to mention any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, ideas, or even build concepts you have. That being said, if you'd like to gain access to a free one-shot, please go to the guild hall and use code WELCOME to claim yours. That being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and as always, happy adventuring.